Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy, and if you watched my last video about the puzzle quilt that my mom made me, then you'll probably be interested in this one. It is the back of the puzzle quilt. This is not something that I use in my escape rooms because it I haven't found a way to make puzzles work with it yet, and the back wasn't even supposed to be a puzzle in the first place. Um, but I'm gonna show you all about it and the way that my mom made it. There's a chance for shout outs in this video, so stick around and I'll show you exactly how that works. But first, here's a preview of the back. So the back of this puzzle quilt was not meant to be anything. It was supposed to just be random. So a lot of just single blocks that doesn't have the same kind of format as the front. But when I asked my mom if there was any specific placement of the blocks, she said, eh, which to me sounds like there's something hidden here for me to discover. So here I will show you just a preview of some of these. As a hint, I'll tell you that it has a similar um, game as the front, so if you aren't sure what that is, you might want to go watch the first video, but I'm going to spoil it now. It has to do with the first letter of the items in these pictures. So on the front, you had the extra help of other blocks that would give you an idea of what that item could be. So in this case, are these frogs? Are they toads? Are they amphibians? Are they hoppers? I don't know. So you have to kind of figure that out for yourself and then she has something really clever going on here. I'm gonna give away the first line here and then these other lines are what you have a chance to uncover in the comments which will then result in being shouted out in my next video. So the first row, F for frogs, I for Indians, these are Santas, so S, hot air balloon, H, E for envelope, R for rolling pin, H for horse, U for unicorn, N for nutcracker, T for telephone, and Z for zombies. This first row spells Fisher Hunts. Oh my goodness, mom. Okay, so I thought that was gonna be it, but nope, every other row is something as well. So if you're not interested, you can zoom through to the end. Um, that's basically the entire video. But for anyone that wants to leave a comment, here are your row options.
anyone that might be wondering, hey, there's a border. What could the border be? So I asked my mom the same thing. Is the border specific? And she went, eh. To which I then had to go figure it out myself. And it's a little bit too complicated to like fully show you what the answers are and everything. But, um, I mean, there's a lot of wild stuff going on here. You know, like that's definitely a C and then a K and then a B and then maybe a J. Like this is not words, but it turned out it was a whole uh, cryptogram, cryptograph, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Um, but it has some personal information in it, like um, my full name and where we live and uh, the year I started doing escape rooms. Really, really personal. <laughs> and I'm really impressed with what she did to it. So go ahead and comment which row you're working on and what the secret code was. Um, if you are the first person to do so, you'll get shouted out in my next video. There are a couple rules. Would you please only comment one at a time just so that everyone has a chance to kind of guess one. Um, if you want to guess all of them, just make them individual comments. Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for being interested in this and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.